So a lot of people are saying, hey, Fred, we're about to go into a bull market and uh, you really need to go for this alt season because you're going to be able to get the same return as Bitcoin, but like multiply by two. Right? Why, why do you want to be in Bitcoin when you can be in these like super high octane altcoins? Well, I put together 10 reasons why I think you should just stick to Bitcoin only. And here they are. The first reason is if you look over the last four, over a four year period or longer, you will find that all altcoins go to zero against Bitcoin. Um, now, it's true that, you know, over a year you can see something like Solana do really well. But, you know, over longer periods of time, all altcoins go to zero against Bitcoin. It's inevitable. It's what happens. It's a statistical behavior. Even the darlings like Ethereum um, are going to zero against Bitcoin. Ethereum was a hot against Bitcoin in 2017, and it's never reached that high again. Okay, the second reason is if you buy an altcoin and it starts going down, you are going to very quickly lose your conviction for that altcoin. So, and you'll probably sell it at a loss. And, you know, we don't know the future, but if we have conviction about Bitcoin. We can withstand these dips. You're not going to get that conviction with altcoins. So that's the second reason. Now, the third reason is altcoins, unlike Bitcoin, are subject to technological change. They're a little bit like AOL gets replaced by Yahoo, gets replaced by Google. Um, Facebook, MySpace gets replaced by Facebook. There's always some new thing with altcoins. You know, EOS was a top altcoin in 2018. And, you know, it got replaced with Solana, and Solana is going to get replaced with Sui or something other hotter faster uh cheaper thing uh so you don't want to be fighting technological change bitcoin doesn't have that problem it hasn't changed very much at all since 2010 uh, uh, and um, and that's fine because it doesn't need to change the fourth reason is um there are it's time you have a limited amount of time on this planet. There are 10,000 plus altcoins. Do you have time to study all these altcoins? Uh, you know, wouldn't it be better for you just to study Bitcoin and get a, a better understanding of the top coin? You can't possibly understand all the tokenomics and all the models and, and really sift through all these time, uh, all these co coins out there beyond the top hundred, say. And so it's just a complete time sink. You have better things to do with your life. Touch grass. Do something else. Uh, that's the fourth reason. The fifth reason is there's a lot of these coins that are just outright scams. And what I mean by that, I mean things like safe moon coin. You know, sounds good. It brings you to the moon safely. Uh, Celsius uh, cell token, CEL. Uh, was viewed as, oh, this is great, it's backing our thing, uh, our Celsius coin. Well, it was really a way for Alex Mashinsky to sell coins uh, and get rich personally. So th this is not, you want to avoid these scams. Bitcoin is not a scam. Bitcoin was created by Satoshi, Satoshi Nakamoto. He has never sold any. It really has a, a lot of honesty in the protocol. Um, the sixth reason is some of these things could be securities, right? The SEC hasn't completely clearly said what are securities, what aren't. Um, it said Bitcoin is not a security. Uh, it has said that. Um, but it's not even said that Ethereum is, not, quote unquote, not a security. And things like Solana, well, they may be deemed securities officially, in which case the coin could be negatively uh, affected. You don't want to buy securities. Number seven is Ponzi's. Um, you know, a lot of these altcoins are really designed as Ponzi schemes. So they do very, very well at the beginning. But then as you get closer to the middle phase, maybe that's even only a couple months since the launch of the token, you realize that you need more suckers to come in and rescue you from the coin's tokenomics. So the very... Early people who get in, 
the founders of the token do really well. But anybody who gets in six months, a year later, is basically providing exit liquidity for the founders. You don't want to get involved in these coins. They eventually blow up. Um, the, la the, ninth, the eighth reason is a lot of these coins are deliberately complicated. And, you know, it, it takes a long time for you even, even to try to understand them. You know, there's a coin called Bonk out there. I have no idea what it does. It's a very complicated structure. You get some airdrops. You can earn some if you do X, Y, Z. Um, if you start moving NFTs, you get some. And you can spend an enormous amount of time just studying an individual coin because of the sheer complexity of the design. They're a little bit like Rube Goldberg machines. And so the beauty of Bitcoin is the very simple uh, structure. So that's the, uh, the time factor.